Welcome back, welcome back. I am your host, Majestic Quinn 444. Please like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Miss One of a Kind. All right, y'all, we are on um, some zodiac signs for um, this week, guys. Um, it can be your past, present, or future. Please take what resonates for you. Um, please make sure you use your intuition and discernment. Always check out the description box for more information about your own personal birth chart, astrochart.com. We're going to start off with some of from my um, own personal and see what we get. Let's see what we get. Please take what resonates for you guys, please. Um, short or tall, thick, slim, average, or athletic built. Somebody could be short or tall, thick, average, slim, or athletic built. Take what resonates. Um, thick thighs, yum. <laughs> Somebody feels that you're their only half. You are my only half. You're my other half. Only half. <laughs> you're their only half. Y'all heard it. You're my other half. One on one on the clock. You're the only half. Yeah. You guys going to get through this. I'm hearing we're going to get through this together. Is what I'm hearing. Together. I can't wait for the day I come home to you every night. This person could be trying to move in. Or you guys could be looking for some type of place together. Is what I'm hearing at this time. Take what resonates. A new car could be significant. Somebody could be getting some type of new car, blue or gray. <sighs> STD could be very significant, whether that is a physical um, STD, sexual transmitted disease, or some type of, um, I'm hearing, uh, sexual transmitted demon. Take what resonates, male or female, guys. Please take what resonates for you. Yep, I'm hearing do, possibly doing um, some type of breakup to makeup situation. This person contracted some type of STD, or you did. Yeah, maybe this happened back in January um, when the situation went down, or you guys broke up in January. But this person, you do a million little things to bring joy to my life. Take a resume. Guys, let's get one more. Somebody's bored, 2 to 2 on the clock. Somebody's bored in a situation where you are. You or somebody else could have psychic abilities. I'm hearing you already know. You already know that this person is bored in their situation. You guys could have been broken up since January. You or this person con contracted some type of sexual demon or sexual disease. Take what resonates, guys. Be careful. Use your intuition, discernment regarding these people or this is you. Take what resonates. Um... Let's see what we get from the tarot. More clarification on the situation. Let's clarify. Let's clarify. Yep. Backstabbed. I'm hearing somebody feel backstabbed and betrayed regarding some type of situation. Whether that is you or somebody else. Yep, and now they're trying to make a decision on their situation. Or you are trying to make a decision on your situation. I'm feeling like somebody feel backstabbed because in January they left you three to three on the clock. They left you ended up getting some type of STD. Um, I'm hearing and now they possibly need to tell you or they don't know how to tell you. I'm also hearing that um, somebody could have broke up with you and now they're trying to get back with you. Take what resonates. <coughs> Confirmation. I'm also hearing somebody could have contracted some STD in January and tried to blame you. Two, um, two, two, two could be significant. Somebody could have contracted some STD in January and tried to blame you, um, and caused you, it made you feel like this person backstabbed you because you knew you knew they were lying. You knew they were lying. 420, I just saw this person could be a heavy smoker. You knew they were lying and they're they like they get bored really fast in their situations. But I'm hearing you're attracting somebody new with the chariot cards. I'm hearing you're moving forward from this person and their their situation that they attract STDs or something. I'm also hearing um you could have dealt with somebody in January that caused your pH balance to be off. And this is because this person gets bored in their situation and moves and dibble-dabble with different people. 
it's definitely some a male energy a male energy that deals with a lot of women because all the partners and then they come to you a woman that doesn't mess with anybody is what i'm hearing and it best is off if so if your ph confirmations if your ph balance was off in, around january that's because this person um you guys could have broke up around january and because this person is bored this person was found you boring your situation was boring they was just bored um of you take what resonates i'm definitely feeling like this is a, um, a female that i'm speaking to at this time i mean you take what resonates but you're dealing with some type of male energy that is basically for the streets the devils and devils when they get bored they go somewhere else and they get bored they go somewhere else um and i'm feeling like this person could have gave you a physical std and tried to blame you and they know you already know they try to blame you is what i'm hearing i'm also hearing somebody faked documents somebody could have faked um fake their documents of saying like they went to the doctor but they didn't is what i'm hearing as well with the psychic abilities i'm hearing you already know this person lied about actually going to the doctor i'm hearing that somebody faked it and you're moving on that could be significant for some not for all but i'm hearing somebody faked their documents hmm um and now they feeling like they betrayed you they feeling like this now with the ten of swords Maybe they need to make some type of decision to tell you that they have it or something like that. Take what resonates. Like I said, this could be a physical STD, a spiritual, sex, sexual transmitted demon. Like they contracted some type of like um, succubus, incubus type of thing from somebody. Um, yeah, if your partner has been craving more weird stuff during sexual... Um, a counter since January is because he attracted some type of sexual um, transmitted demon from somebody else during y'all makeup, during y'all um, breakup. And y'all could have possibly made up in January as well as what I'm hearing as well. You guys could have broke up and you made up in January. Um, this person was like more sexually like doing things that you've never done before or um, asking you to do stuff that you never done before or something like that or they wanted some, you to do something that you wasn't as comfortable with or something like that it's it's really it's giving vibes of um that somebody definitely did something underhanded and now they're feeling um the way you felt is what i'm hearing they're feeling what you felt um when this situation went down when they was feeling bored and uh, uneasy or whatever they was feeling for them to break up with you just to make up with you they're feeling it is what I'm hearing and you've moved on you're either you moved on or you or you've um, moving on take what resonates because I'm hearing that you you definitely found somebody that is um, already digging you already digging you you guys are already getting through things together um, I'm hearing this person Love the fact that the little things matter instead of the big things. Or you, this person, you or this person loves the little things that this person do for you. I'm hearing you moved on from this on and off type of energy. This person that gets bored really fast or they told you that you're boring. That could have been significant for somebody out there. A person that, that told you that you're boring, they just said that to break up with you so they can go do something or be somewhere else is what I'm hearing. This is the type of person that calls start arguments to go cheat so they can cheat in peace. But I'm hearing you working on yourself. You moved on and you're working on yourself with the eight of pentacles. You're working on yourself. Yeah, with the tower card. This blowing, I'm hearing this blowing this person's mind, how you, you bounce back. Yeah, you could be a queen of cups energy, male or female. You're bouncing back. I'm hearing your, your game, that you know, the bounce back game is, is, is crazy. I'm hearing this person didn't think that you were going to bounce back the way you did. This person could have called you weak. Um, like, you could have played. You're probably one of those people that come off like the Queen of Cups. Loving, caring, oh, oh poor me. You know, come off like like ditzy, I want to say, I guess. I, I don't really know how to explain it. But this person thought you were slow, stupid, or something like that. And you hit them with a tower. You hit them with a tower. 
I'm here to you hit them with a, a mind blowing situation that 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 they shook. They shooketh. I keep hearing there's a snake in my boot. There's a snake in my boot. I'm really I'm hearing the Queen of Cups realize that there was a snake in his or her boot. They realized that there, there was a snake in the midst of this situation that was backstabbing them, juggling them, um, working towards other situations while they were trying to be with them. Yeah, two of wands. Somebody was juggling situations here. We got two of wands, two of swords. And you was like, I'm not having that shit. Yeah, because you the freaking empress. I'm not having that shit. I am the light bringer. I bring the light. I bring the ideas. Hell, I bring the whole table. Like... You know how men ask women, what you bring to the table? The woman it is the table. What the hell? <laughs> like, what the, that makes no sense. Or women ask men, what do you bring to the table? Like, like, come on now, guys. We, that, that's not a question you should be asking somebody. That's my personal opinion. Um, I think you should date that person and figure out what they bring to the table. You know, and see what y'all both bring to the table. 11-11. Ask them to go on the picnic and see what they bring. Ask them to go to dinner, bring a, bring a dish, what they call a potluck, our first date, make a potluck, and see what they bring. If they bring the plates, they just want to eat. <laughs> now, if they bring some food, and we go cook it up, some vegetables and all that, then you could tell what this person is about. They healthy, um, they take care of themselves. You can tell a lot by a person on what they eat, what they drink, you know? I don't care about no shoes. You know, you can have the... The, the newest car, the newest shoes, and still be, you know, dirty. Don't wash your butt. Don't eat right. <laughs> Take what resonates. I know that just went right. Yeah, that could be it as well. Somebody doesn't wash up or something like that, and it causes, um, like, some type of infection or something like that. I'm also hearing um, a male that doesn't wash up after intercourse. That can cause UTIs. Men get UTIs as well. Um... 12, 12 on the clock. I don't know where this energy is coming from, but I'm, I'm definitely hearing that at this time. <laughs> Take what resonates, guys. But I'm here. It's gonna be. A, I'm here. It's gonna be a screamer. Somebody could have just watched that movie. Um, what is it called? Scary movie. It's gonna be a screamer. The one with um, Mar um, Marlon Wayans. The Marlon Wayans. Marlon Wayans. Sean. Sean and Marlon Wayans. It's gonna be a screamer. It's gonna be a screamer. I'm mean, hearing somebody is about to take off, take off, take off with their empress, or you are this queen of cup empress energy. You are this queen of cup empress energy at this time, and you taking off on a lot of people is what I'm hearing. People is 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 is, is don't know what to do with you. They don't know. They didn't believe that you would make it this far. Is what I'm hearing. They didn't. They didn't believe it. They didn't believe it. I'm hearing somebody try to give you STDs on purpose. Whether that is physical or like this person was sent to you. Yeah, I'm hearing this person. Somebody tried to give you something on purpose. Look at that. Look at that. The four of cups. And you're like, no, I'm good. I'm good where I'm at. I'm cool. I'm cool. 1333. Somebody tried to come towards you. And you're like, no, I'm straight. I'm straight. I'm going to focus on school. I'm going to focus on my belief system as well. You know, I'm, I'm going to keep my eye on God like he told me to do. Is what I'm hearing at this time. 555 on the clock. 555 on the clock. You're waiting for your king of cups. Queen of cups. You're waiting for your king of cups. Male or female. You're waiting for somebody that, that matches your fly is what I'm hearing. Somebody who matches your fly. Somebody who's on the same wavelength as you. I mean, there's nothing wrong with somebody getting bored in the in their relationship. It's it's about it's not about what you do, it's how you do it. Fourteen, fourteen o'clock. Okay, it's cool if you tell your person, hey, let's spice it up a little bit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But it's 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 bad when you gotta break up with somebody. You gotta cause arguments and fights. Tell this person they're boring to cause fights or whatever, just to 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 make back up. And now you're bringing things home that ain't supposed to be there but i'm hearing this person i already knew this person felt the energy when they talked to you on the phone when the offer came through they felt that energy they felt the energy of someone else 14 44 on the clock they felt the energy of someone else i mean you could have told this person no i'm cool it's boring 
It's boring with the four of cups. You could have told them that. No, nah, I'm, I'm I'm bored with the situation. I'm over it. You know, I'm over it. And you're dealing with somebody that does a, do a million little things to bring you joy. So why go back to somebody that calls you million, a million, I'm hearing a million, um, a million pain. Yeah, I'm hearing like do a million little things to bring you pain is what I'm hearing. Do a million little things to bring you pain. Somebody that argues with you over basically nothing. The way you talk, the way you chew, like just just argue over anything. They they really don't want to be with you. I'm hearing that's somebody that's pretending. So that's somebody that's just wasting time. Somebody that's using you as I'm hearing placeholder. Somebody that's trying to waste your youth is what I'm hearing. Waste your youth. And I'm hearing you figured it out. You figured it out. You figured it out. 15, 55 on the clock. I'm hearing this was somebody that was sent in your life to waste your use, to distract you from your mission, your purpose, from taking your eyes off God or the universe, whoever you believe in, is what I'm hearing. 555 five, five on the clock. This was somebody that was sent in to distract you. Distract you from your purpose. Distract you from things that you actually bring you joy. 16, 16 on the clock. Take a resonance. Take what resonates. I'm hearing you waiting on your king of cups. Yep, with the world card. You ended this cycle. You ended this cycle and you waiting on your, your counterpart. Your counterpart. You waiting on your king of cups, emperor energy. Because that's somebody that matches your fly. You a queen of cups, empress. You're waiting on your king of cups, emperor energy. Take what resonates. Take what resonates. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing at this time. And then the world. We got the world here. And then the world card. This person can think the world of you. And show you. They don't have no problem with being vulnerable as well. With their emotions. Or their feelings. Towards you. I'm hearing this other person. They were a lot of stand. Like they was, they held back. From how they actually felt. See how this person's arms are closed. They held back. 17, 17 on the clock. But you're going to meet somebody that is very expressive and don't mind telling you, you know, the, the truth is what I'm hearing as well. Don't mind telling you the truth, but tactfully, respectfully, honestly. Take what resonates for you guys. Yep, it's your justice. It's your justice. This is your justice. You're just due. You're going to get a damn victory. You about to get your victory, your victory person, your um victory partner. Yes, you about to get your victory. Just don't give up. The Knight of Wands, don't give up. Is what I'm hearing. You on the brink of exhaustion because I keep, I keep hearing somebody think it's not coming. You think it's not coming. You're losing hope. You're losing faith. You're getting exhausted. But it's here. It's here. It's here already. Is what I'm hearing. It just needs to. I'm here. It's, it's already been there. It's been there um, in the spiritual realm, but it needs to come down to the 3D. It needs to form, manifest in the 3D is what I'm hearing. Yes, it needs to manifest in the 3D. Take what resonates. Let's move on to um, the Small Lovers Oracle. Please take what resonates for you guys. But yes, so be careful. Be careful though, you know, because this could just be somebody trying to come back you know, towards you and have, they see you doing well and trying to have a victory with you, but this person could have some type of STD. My advice is whoever's trying to come back into your life, yeah, hammer, hammer. My advice is whoever's trying to come back, make a doctor's appointment with their ass. <laughs> come on, baby, our first date, y'all, we back together? Okay, we got a date at the clinic. And if they don't want to go, they don't want to go. Like I said, it all that tells you a lot about somebody. Fuck, bring me them papers. People can falsify documents like that. So I don't, I, I think people need to go doctor together. 19, 19 on the clock. That's my advice. Make a date to go to the doctors. If somebody's trying to keep breaking up, making up with you in situations like that. If somebody ever told you that you're boring and whatever, causing arguments and stuff like that. If you're trying to go back to them, not trying to say you want them, but if you are, my suggestion is go to the doctor with them together. Find a clinic where y'all can get y'all results the same day type of energy um, is what I'm feeling. Not something where they call um, 
or something or send an email you need your results the same day a clinic that does that i'm sure they're out there um because that paper stuff i i, I just don't believe it i i don't believe it something is not right people are falsifying a lot of documents nowadays 2012 could be significant um we got hammer sabotage rebuilding interrogation um repetitive persistent working on it repetitive persistent working on it heart with the key welcoming love meeting the one open your heart getting together perfect like i said you moved on you moved on you moved on to to find something better for you that's suited for you I'm also hearing somebody could have told you something about uh, linking up, but then they changed their mind or something like that. With the sabotage, they changed their mind because they realized that you're, you have psychic abilities, that you was going to read them as soon as they walked through the door. As soon as y'all energy came together, you was going to read the BS. You was going to smell the BS. I'm also hearing somebody could have had some type of epiphany or dream not to, not to mess with you. Is what I'm hearing. Something could have happened where this person realized, don't mess with that person. Don't mess with this person. I'm hearing your ancestors could have told them in some type of dream. God himself could have came down and said, don't mess with my child. Do not touch my anointed one. Do not touch my anointed one. I'm hearing the, the hammer. Do not touch my anointed one. You will receive some type of justice. It's going to be fair. This situation is going to be, be made fair. Is what I'm hearing. Take what resonates. But we got um, keys on a ring. Many options, decisions, uncon uncondition unconventional string alongs, and one night stand. Like I said, there was somebody that was stringing you along, wasting your time, planning your energy. They was out here having one night stands, unconventional. They had many options and decisions. You are not the only one. Two, 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 two on the clock. You are not the only one to this person. They could have told you that. They could have shown evidence of that. Is one parent? Yeah, mask. They could have shown evidence. Like I said, they knew that mask was. They knew they mask already been came off. So they changed their mind. Is what I'm hearing. Their mind got changed with the four of cups. They changed their mind. I'm hearing, um, there was a reading I did once before we had like, yes, no, yes, no. I'm thinking there's something similar to that, where somebody could have told you yes to something, then told you no, then told you yes, or something like that. They could have went back and forth on their decision because they realized they mask already came off. Whether you said it or not, this person knows that you know. You know who they really are. Not showing true feelings, hide, um, hide personality pretend delude or gaslighting this person knows that you know that they gaslight you 23 23 on the clock this person knows that you know or this is you gaslighting somebody and they know take what resonates guys for you but somebody knows the mask is off the mask is off we have um hand of hand of cards taking a risk being strategic, options, not showing hand, and gambling. Yep, somebody knows. I'm hearing she knows. Yep, due to addictions, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling. I did say that. There was somebody controlling. Oh, that was my last reading. There was somebody in some type of controlling energy. Um, has, has a block or restraint. There was somebody controlling here. It took like abuse of power or something like that. They was abusing their power. I'm hearing their mask fell the fuck off. I'm hearing you're walking karma. This is why this person don't want to come nowhere near you. Yep, clock. Clock. Need time, takes time, in time, cycles, time to heal and progress. 24, 44. I'm hearing this person probably told you they need time to themselves or something like that. They lying. They lying. 
they either with somebody else here trying to create some whole new um i'm hearing supply they're trying to get the supply to look at you in a bad light is what i'm hearing they're trying to get the new supply to look at you in some type of bad light because their mass you already uncovered who they are so now they need to get other people to see you in a different light is what i'm hearing but i'm hearing god universe whoever you believe in I already warned this person leave leave them alone leave them alone leave them alone like i'm hearing this person could have just came into your life and brought a lot of destruction whether they know it or not whether they know it or not they brought a lot of destruction towards you is what i'm hearing I mean, in the way you think, they could have, like, like messed with your decision-making, but it was, like, unconscious. They didn't really know they were doing this. I'm hearing due to what whoever they was with before you put some type of sexual transmitted demon on them, and then they came to you. You guys could have met in January is what I'm hearing. You guys could have met in January. Whoever they were with before you came with some type of demonic entity or something it messed with your decision making it messed with like your emotions and just threw you all off balance like y'all energy was never supposed to intertwine besides a hi how you doing and kept it moving type of energy take what resonates they will resonate what is this what is this i want to see what is this what's going on here What's going on? What is this? What is this? Yeah, Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. I'm hearing somebody who is the, speaking the truth, speaks her truth, um, standing her beliefs. I'm hearing that's you. That's you, male or female. Somebody who stands in their beliefs, speaks truth. Butterflies could be significant. I'm hearing child as well. You could have had a child with this person. You could have had a child with this person. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Now you're balanced. Now you're balanced. Now you're balanced. Things are balancing out and you're happy. And you're happy. Definitely, definitely. I'm here. Somebody that you met in January or something like that came with some type of physical STD or spiritual STD and it messed up a lot of things in your life or in somebody else's life because somebody here cheated. Somebody was sleeping around due to them being bored. Take what resonates. All right, let's see what else we get, y'all. All right, let's get some angel answers. Let's get some angel answers. What's going on here? Yep, it's gonna be some type of piece of resolution. Piece of resolution. Piece of resolution. Maybe gonna resolve things for the child, like co parent or something. Meditate, bring answers. Take what resonates for you guys. Like I said, this could be somebody you let go and you've met somebody new, but you gotta still co parent with this person, the other person. Oh my goodness. Way too many. You do have success. Yeah, you still have to co-parent with somebody. Take what resonates. Yeah, we still gotta co-parent somebody. You still gotta co-parent in the near future. In the near future, it's gonna be a peaceful resolution. Meditation, bring answers. It's gonna be successful. And then we do have... Um, we have yes, a yes answer, then we have a no answer, and then something to do with romance, and here reconsider, and then a year from now. Take what resonates. So about a year from now, somebody's going to reconsider. <clears throat> I'm hearing it took you about a year or so to get yourself together to reconsider on romance. I'm hearing you could have been in some in and off energy due to this person and their sexual transmitted demon. I'm hearing sexual transmitted demon heavy, guys. Um, if it is a physical STD, I'm hearing somebody lied about their results. Somebody lied about their results and blamed it on you and then the other person lied or something like that. I'm hearing that heavy at this time. Um, 
but I'm here in the near future. It's going to be a peaceful resolution. It's just keep meditating because it brings answers. The situation is going to work out. Please take what resonates for you guys. Take what resonates. Let's see what's going on here. The big love is horrible. The big love is horrible. Let's see what's going on, guys. What's going on? I'm better with my mind than my heart. Yeah. Somebody that's better with their mind or their heart could definitely be a Gemini Libra Aquarius that play these games with you. I'm also hearing like a Capricorn energy as well for some. There is something that's flipped here. Is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Keep feeling like something is it. There it is. These two. I don't understand. Yeah, they was hurt by you. They didn't understand why did you hurt them, is what I'm hearing. Or you don't understand how somebody could have hurt you. But this person is better with their mind and their heart. I don't understand. I was hurt by you. I don't know where to start. Somebody doesn't know where to start. I don't understand. I was hurt by you. I am better with my mind than my heart. And I don't know where to start. How could you ever forgive me for the mess that I've made? Yeah, somebody made a huge boo-boo. And you know about it already. Somebody made a huge boo-boo. And you know. You're, you're very aware. You're very aware of what is going on around you, not around you is what I'm hearing. You pick up on energy off of text message conversations. Life without you is hopeless, dark, depressing, and they miss your light. They miss your light and they miss sex with you. Again, we back to the sex thing. Be careful, guys. Be careful. Yeah, they can't make a decision. Here we go again with a difficult decision. With two of swords. This person could be juggling you with multiple people. But they need to figure themselves out. Or you need to figure yourself out. But somebody here needs to figure something out. I'm also here. Somebody needs to figure out who the one that gave them um, this 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 uh, STD is what I'm hearing. Because they can't blame you is what I'm hearing. I keep hearing that somebody is trying to can't blame you for something because you wasn't around is what I'm hearing you were not around you, you were not intimate with this person or something like that take what resonates that's for some not for all okay let me get out of the energy okay let's get some um Let's get some here from life purpose. Let's move to the life purpose here. What is your life purpose? Spiritual teacher. We have you and your psychic abilities. You are you heal with classes, sessions, and sermons. Spiritual teacher with your psychic abilities. Music, music, you can love music. I'm hearing you can love all type of music, all kinds of music. Your connection to music is healing for yourself and others. I'm hearing you like all kinds of music. There's no, um, yeah, that's confirmation, but I'm not going to take all of those. Um, I'm hearing you like all kinds of music here. There's no dim discrimination on music is what I'm hearing. Nutrition. You conduct healing work with your culinary skills. Nutrition. And then school. School. Like I said, somebody said they was going to focus on school and not this key on and off situation that they're in or was in. Um, your answer that you seek involves going to school. Yeah. Yep. I definitely said somebody was going to focus on their, their schooling, their higher level of education. I'm also hearing somebody's focusing on school of life. You know, we all in a big school learning. Students of this 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 school called life. We all on the learning experience is what I'm hearing. So let's get some encouragement. Yeah. Let's get some encouragement for you or this person. 
or this could be somebody that's you know around you that's dealing with this table resonates for you guys you got happiness again Happiness doesn't come from material gains or the pursuit of perf perfection. It comes from within. It shouldn't be treated as a target or a goal, but rather as an ongoing process. We each have the power to nurture our own happiness, and this can come from leading an open, honest, and loving life, as well as learning to take control of our own emotions and stay mindful of all the good things. There are so many things in my life to be happy about. I choose to be happy in this moment. Yeah, be happy in this moment. I'm hearing you got away. I mean, you want to be the one that people talk about. Yeah, that's the one that got away. What a freedom. That's the one that got away. I didn't know. I didn't know what he or she was capable of is what I'm hearing. Somebody is saying they didn't know. They didn't know. While they were saying things were boring, they didn't understand that it was going to bring freedom. There can be times when a busy life can seem too restricted, our freedom, and sadly, there are still many instances in the world of physical and fundamental freedoms being denied. Living in the free world is a privilege not to be taken for granted. And another freedom is to cherish is that of the mind, the freedom to think, to question, to decide, to imagine, to express ourselves as individuals. Like I said, somebody somebody took your... Um, Somebody took you like your decision making away because I'm I'm hearing I was hearing that somebody could have lied about something and made you think something else when it wasn't true. Cause I'm hearing the freedom to um the freedom to think, to question or decide. Somebody took that away from you. Somebody robbed you of your decision making. And when they didn't even understand how did that happen, it's it was because the person they dealt with before they met you. Where, where it messed up, it threw off your intuition, it threw off your your ability to, 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 to who you were before you met them. This queen of cups, king of cups, empress energy, whoever you are, it threw you off is what I'm hearing. It threw you off. Shit, you could be the damn hierophant. It threw you off. They threw you off is what I'm hearing. Somebody threw you off in your decision making, in the way you think. Um, the freedom of your speech is what I'm hearing. Somebody try to control how you speak, how you talk, how you express yourself and your imagination. Somebody could have said that you're like young minded or something like that. I'm hearing um, uh, grandma school, 37, 37 on the clock. Somebody could say that you speak like you're, you're in grammar school or something like that. Take what resonates for you guys, but I'm hearing... Somebody robbed you of your decision making. Somebody didn't tell you the truth. And they robbed you of you making your own choice because they didn't tell you the truth. So you were kind of stuck with believing this person when it wasn't true. It wasn't truth. They didn't they didn't speak truth. I mean, this person could have had a problem with uh saying that you lied a lot. The main person that was lying was saying that you were a liar, if that makes sense. If somebody you was dealing with somebody that broke up with you a lot and they accused you of cheating, they accused you of being lying, and you wasn't, you wasn't, they were the cheater, they were the liar. That's just what I'm seeing and hearing right now. Um, but yes, somebody here, um, yes, another freedom to cherish is the, the, is that of the mind, the freedom to think, to question, to decide, and to imagine, to express ourselves as individuals. This person was not trying to allow you to be your own individual person, and they were holding you the hell back. And I'm hearing God or somebody came to them, your ancestors. I'm also hearing a father figure could have came to this person, a grandfather even. Somebody came to this person in their dreams and told them to not, to not mess with you. To not mess with you is what I'm hearing. Leave you be. I keep hearing you will not touch my anointed one. I am a free human being empowered to choose my own path. My life, my thoughts belong to me. They definitely do, Collector. They belong to you. Your life, your thoughts belong to you. Take what resonates. Even, well, I never, that's a whole nother story. <laughs> you know, I know I heard a lot of things here. Trying to take a lot of rights from us, y'all. But that's a different story. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, this one's kind of heavy. This one was kind of heavy. 
Yes, calmness. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Calmness. At times, it can feel like the modern world is full of stressful events and anxieties. And often, we can um, spend too much time worrying about things that have happened or things that are yet to come. This is when we need to remember the importance of calmness and inner peace. There are certain things we cannot change, and within us all is the... Um, is wait and within us all is the captivity for perceptive and the ability to let things just go there is a great reserve of calmness inside of me today i will bring tranquility into the world calm calmness calmness all right um let's get a angel prayer here let's get an angel prayer and then we'll pull some signs. All right now. Spirit animal. Spirit animal. Birds could be significant. Feathers. You could have been seeing a lot of feathers lately. Um, I'm hearing specifically the blue, black, and white ones. Um, spirit animal. Thank you, Animal Kingdom, for blessing my path with love. Blessing my path with love. I'm hearing you could have loved this person, like, unconditionally is what I'm hearing as well. Um, angels are sending you love and blessings through the animals in your life. Whether you have a pet here on earth or a pet who has moved on to heaven, their loving blessings are surrounding you at this time. Take some time to connect with the animal kingdom and draw inspiration from it. The angels want you to know the, the animal kingdom holds messages of peace and harmony for you. Do anything you can to enjoy this. Animal consciousness surrounds you at this time and passes messages to you from your guardian angels. If you felt inspired to help the animal kingdom in any way, perhaps by becoming vegetarian or adopting a pet, the angels are encouraging you to follow this guidance. You not only have a guardian angel, but also a spirit animal who is with you at this time. Say the prayer on this card then close your eyes and ask the spirit animal to show itself to you. Trust the first feeling or vision you have of this animal and connect with them through your spiritual practice. So that's uh, meditation. Meditation or prayer. You take what resonates for you. Um, so, yeah, spirit animal. Thank you, animal kingdom, for blessing my path with love. 4242 on the clock. So we're going to pull some signs here. Let's see who we get, who we good. Let's say, let's say, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Okay, now we got a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Libra, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Leo, Taurus. Leo, Taurus, Gemini. Scorpio. Aquarius. Sorry, it's upside down. Aquarius. I know I'm going to pull all of them. Pisces. <laughs> Sagittarius. Capricorn. And Aries. And again, I pull all of them because they're all in your sign. We all are connected as one. So, um, the zodiac signs don't matter, guys. You know, but any of these signs could be you or your person that you're dealing with. Take what resonates. 43, 43 on the clock. So, pretty much all the signs can have some type of relative to this message. You take what resonates with you, though. Um, but, yeah, y'all enjoy y'all week uh, ahead and blessings on y'all journey. I am your host, Majestic Quinn. 444, please like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Miss One of a Kind. Love you guys. Blessings on y'all journey.